I solemnly swear I'm up to no good. We're here, we're here, we're here. I'm so excited about this. Tonight we're staying in the Sylvia Beach Hotel and every room is literary themed. And we just pulled into Newport, Oregon. I'm so excited about this night. This is where we're staying. And it is right next to the beach. And a little free library right outside. It's like a Narnia wardrobe. flew over the cuckoo's nest room. And the Gryffindor room where we're gonna be tomorrow. And our room, the F. Scott Fitzgerald room. Everything in here is themed to do with F. Scott Fitzgerald. Let me give you a room tour. Okay, we've got the bed, and over there is a little bureau with books, all by F. Scott Fitzgerald, of course. And we've got a nice little chair, and our windows look out on the beach. And then over here, it looks like a closet. It's our bathroom. And everyone likes bathroom tours on vlogs, so let's do a little bathroom tour. There's the toilet. And the tub. And that's it. And our sink is actually out here on the wall. And of course, it wouldn't be a complete F. Scott Fitzgerald room without the alcohol bottles. I mean, come on. So that's it, and now we're gonna go tour the rest of the hotel. balcony right now. So you'll notice that there was no TV in the room. This B&B has no TV and there is no Wi-Fi and it's where you're just supposed to come and unplug and relax and read a book and there's plenty of little nooks and crannies. There's game rooms, there's couches to read on, there's tea in the tea room. I'm gonna love the next two days here. So let's go inside and take a look at some of the reading spaces.
Now that I've got a mug of tea, let's go find a place to read. I think I've found my favorite place in this b, &B. I'm at the top of the house and there's a little library up here. I'm in the seat by the window. It's a bookshelf. And more library. And there's a little balcony. Looks down. And a puzzle room. There are some ones working on a puzzle. So I think I'm gonna go find a book and settle down for the evening. I found a Bobsy Twin book. I love the Bobsy Twins. I'm gonna go settle down with this one. Good morning, guys. It's the next day, and neither of us became a raging alcoholic after spending the night with F. Scott Fitzgerald. So now we're heading downstairs to go have brunch down on the bottom floor. And because this is an old Victorian house, there's no elevator, so you have to be able to climb stairs. We switch rooms tonight, and tonight we're sitting in the JK Rowling room, and I'm so excited. Grip into our room, which is fantastic. And under the eye hole, it says, Mad Eye Moody has his eye on you. Oh my gosh, look at this. Oh. And look who's in the bathroom. Moaning Myrtle. Over the toilet. <laughs> Creepy. The Sylvia Beach Hotel serves dinner at 7 p.m. in the Table of Contents restaurant on the bottom floor. So we have made a reservation for dinner tonight. They have several chapters on their menu and you choose your entree from chapter three and then the rest of the chapters or other servings are served family style so everybody shares and because they want you to converse, the tables are big family style, so you have to sit with the other guests and learn to converse. And there's no Wi-Fi here again, so no one's going to be looking at their phones during dinner. So far our stay at the Sylvia Beach Hotel has been amazing. Because there's no Wi-Fi, there's no cell phones, people at dinner talk to each other, nobody has their phone in front of their face. And in this library, people just sit and read quietly and it's incredible and I never want to leave. <laughs> so a little background about Sylvia Beach. Sylvia Beach, who the hotel is named for, was an American who went to Paris in 1919 and opened the now famous English language bookstore Shakespeare and Company. She collected authors, they came and she convinced James Joyce to publish and authors flocked to her bookstore and stayed and conversed and two women here wanted to do the same thing so they opened the Sylvia Beach Hotel and they want authors and just bibliophiles to come and stay and relax and this place has been the most relaxing couple days that I have spent in a long time and I'm really loving it. Mm -hmm. 